Welcome back to STG TV, ladies and gentlemen. Got your two favorite reactors, man. Your two realest reactors on the internet. All right, hands Facts. down. Here we go. We ready to check out the Mayor Kingstown season one, episode two. I mean, we check out the first joint. We thought it was pretty dope, right? Yeah, definitely solid. Definitely solid first episode, man. Mm -hmm. Thought it was solid, man. You know, yeah. got to ride with us. <laughs> Word. We like it. So, good looking on the... Uh, yeah, suggestion, whoever yeah. that was. Hell yeah. And the introduction to this show. But now we're about to get it started. But uh, Word. If you're interested in full-length reactions, make sure to check us out on Patreon. Link will be in the description. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to leave us a little comment in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about this episode. You know it. You know what I mean? Let us, like, kind of help. Fill us in on our little blank spots of what we're supposed to know already. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Give us no, don't give us no, no, no spoilers. You know no what I mean? Spoilers, man. But we'll yeah, definitely excited. So let's go. Let's get it. Hey, that's some rain, rain. This guy's on a ventilator. It was a whole team effort. The whole place is on lockdown for, for fucking ever. But the world won't miss that piece of shit, okay? Yeah, but the Crips are gonna miss him. They're gonna play that letter, and they don't try to hit him on the outside. Let them know at this point, however far they want to take it, we'll take it further. It may not be wise, but Sam handled himself no, like a fucking not. man. They leave the gangster shit to the gangsters, okay? Mm -hmm. Crips might lose the yard. Yeah, Mitch wouldn't do it that way, Mike. It's a big fucking risk. It might be short-sighted, but there is no risk. They got no choice. Okay, every once in a while, it's nice to remind them they're the fucking prisoners. Easy to say when you don't work in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Everybody got to be kind of kosher. Everybody can make everybody life a living hell. <laughs> This could happen to me. It could. I can't change the way things are done here. I'm not asking you to. I, I'm not asking you to do anything. Thank you. You look like you feel sad. Man, get your brother's brains off the wall, man. Word. Get his brains off that wall. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I, no, I thought he was pissing me first. I was about to say, yeah. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Now run and get the fire extinguisher before you get an arson charge, right? We got a word for this. Oh, yeah, what's that? Arson. Insurance company's gonna <laughs> love you. <laughs> Unless you get a steam river carpet. A fucking carpet steamer. How'd it happen? I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. Can we go? Ah, he's grieving. <laughs> <laughs> he's sad. Mm -hmm. He's sad for the both of y'all. Well, silly is setting your office on fire to clean it rather than move to a new office. I mean, you see the metaphor here, right? I mean, you're not married. You, you got nothing tying you down. <laughs> Everybody telling this ass, get the fuck out of here, bro. There's not one reason for you to take this on. Just tying up some loose ends. A lot of them. Don't let weeks become years, Mike. You won't get them back. What do you think you about to do? I have no idea. Cause I'm still confused as to what all the hell is going even going on here. Obviously, there's some drug running, but there's no more pills. Nothing they can do. Tomorrow night we're supposed to sit there, right beside them. And my mama gotta watch her baby put down like a dog. And them is the family of the child that he killed when he decided to spray the bus stop with bullets. Mm. Best thing you can do. Look your brother in the eye. Let your smile be the last thing he sees, okay? What'd he do? Shot up a bus? 
You killed a kid on How accident? I haven't heard. I don't understand. I don't understand nothing. You will tomorrow. Mm. You will tomorrow, baby. Yeah, well, I don't feel bad for him. Fuck I ain't shooting little kids at the bus stop <laughs> on the <laughs> playground. Come on, man. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> he got to go. <laughs> Are you holding up? You gonna take some time? No, 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 I'm good. Man, that's good to hear you backstabbing, motherfucker. Pull me off the fucking yard, huh? You trying to get me killed, motherfucker? I'm on my fucking way. <laughs> you backstabbing, motherfucker. Yo, so that's good to hear. <laughs> you backstabbing, bitch. Guys, someone breaks in here and cuts open the safe in the next few weeks. I'll walk through your front door and kill you in your own kitchen. Looking good. <laughs> Fuck y'all playing up, I guess. <laughs> Niggas on us. <laughs> what? The Yeah, yeah. y'all killed the wrong brother. Shit! Oh, this nigga throwing. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! Oh, such oh shit, man! You fucking crazy! I want that letter on my fucking desk today? All right? Or well, there's no going back to the good old days, you and me. <laughs> hey, it's me. We're good. You want to put the guys back where they were? You a friend of me, or you a friend of them? Oh wait, I'm your, I'm your friend now. <laughs> Word, nigga, you know. <laughs> and pull guns on me, called me all crazy this morning. And you're no friend at all. Hey, I fuck with him. He go hard, nigga. <laughs> he called Call him it. talking crazy. So I I'll be there in a second. Nah, I know that's right. <laughs> fuck all that other shit. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's watching him, General. Damn. Somebody watching him. Uh, can you kill with a pistol? What caliber? The 40. Nope, but you sure piss it off. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. Shotgun, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's. Somebody did this on purpose. Cause he's like Hawkeye in Avengers, and he has the bow and arrow. <laughs> so now he gonna get the bow and arrow on here. <laughs> funny. The grease from your fryer. What do you do with it? Throw it out. Can I have it? The grease. Yeah. Sure. What about the uh, the fries come in bags? Forty pound bags. You really want to feed this bear, huh? What, what, I thought he hated bears. What did he, what did huh. he think that when he seen that bear, remind him of his brother or something? I don't know what the you know him and bro had the bear convo, right? Uh huh. But he had it with the younger brother, I think, because he was talking about that cooking school, and then he was like, that he likes to live outdoors, but the only thing he's scared of is the fucking bears. And then at the end of the episode, he saw that bear. Remember, he was about to shoot him, and then I guess he seen he was a little bitch and was like, feed this nigga. I'm about to feed that nigga now. I have more than bears out there. at least man. cook them fries for him. You're definitely right. <laughs> he definitely got the bow and arrow sitting right there. That's crazy. That's crazy, though, that. A forty caliber won't kill a bear, but a bow and arrow will. Get out of here. Go! Get out! <laughs> Dude fell in love with a random ass bear. <laughs> Takes him to his happy place. What's <laughs> up? Makes him not sad no more, yeah, man. Cool. That looks like Ohio or something, man. But then they show like the little mountainous area mm -hmm. on the stores. I thought maybe it was like Colorado or something. I don't know. 